Hey sidekicks, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own Ashcan comic. Now what is an Ashcan? An Ashcan is basically a photocopied comic book, a very handmade version of a, a comic that contrasted with a mini comic for example. This is an eight pager, it's done, it's done by Dave Hingley and I'll link his channel in the description below so you can check out his stuff. But um, so his comic is basically an eight page one and he does this by putting all his pages on one sheet and this allows him to create a whole eight page story. And if you'd like a video for me to explain how to make one of these, just leave a comment below if you're interested. But for now, we'll be focusing on the uh, Ashcan. Unlike a mini comic per se, um, an Ashcan can go beyond eight pages. And while minis are fun and very quick to construct, a Ashcan will allow you to have as many pages as you desire. Ashcans are also great if you want to print a full issue of a comic and release it on a regular basis. So the basic steps I took to make this comic is I printed out my pages on three to four leaflets because uh, I wanted 12 pages plus the front and back cover and that in total, not including the cover, made about three used about three documents and I I print I put all the pages on these early documents and then I enlarged them onto an A4 because they were originally A5 in size and I picked an enlargement setting on my printer and that's how I was able to make it into a full Ashcan size. Um, and technically it could work as a digest size Ashcan, but for now we're going with an A4 size because that will let us see the full details in high resolution. And what... So how this is really constructed is it's going to be like all these pages are going to be deconstructed and slotted in like one by one until we reach the middle and I'm going to show you how to do this soon. Another important thing to mention though is that the technical name for this type of stitching we'll be doing is called a saddle stitch which basically means a stapler will go right through the middle. Usually it's a long arm stapler if you have a regular one on hand, that could work as well, but I recommend using a long arm staple for that. So the um, so this the basic idea behind the constructing the Ashcan is you want to have at least four pages on one sheet. So the basic formula is ideally you want an even even numbered amount of pages and so you take your take your amount take that amount and divide it by four so in this example i wanted 12 pages so i only ended up having to print 12 like no three documents and so on screen right now you can see me this is the principle i use to construct and format the pages i'm going to be showing this in a minute but I basically start from the right and then rotate left and then add the page numbers until I get into the middle and then I reverse the order. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a moment. Now what you'll need is three blank sheets of paper for this example and I'll just show you what to do and you can follow along. Alright, so here's how it goes. So, 
First you want to um, start at the bottom right because that's where the first page is going to be. You go one, then rotate it 180 left and go two. And then for the every consecutive page until you get to the third, which will be the middle one, that's when you have to do it in the in reverse. So you rotate left. All right, four until finally you get up to here. And do five, six, and this is where your middle part is. Six, and then seven. That's where you have to end. Now you do it in reverse order. So, so you start again, but this time on the right, and then you have to rotate it right. So, eight. In this case, eight is actually on the same page because you're going coming full circle this time. And now that we've got both of those pages, we've got the front all figured out. And um, this is how I did it in my uh, for my zine, but or Ashcan I should say. And it seemed pretty seemed to work pretty well. There is a little bit of um, uh, working around it, but otherwise, now we're going back in the order we had before. So. 12 and then right 11 and we went backwards again uh, to 10 then rotate left and then 9 until and then you meet on 8 now that we've got these all um, figured out, all our numbers on the page, fold each of them like this. Mm. This is our middle page. We've got six and seven. Six and seven need to face each other because they are in the middle. Do remember that. Um, and let's see. This one's in the middle here. Seven, eight, nine. Yes. So we have our pages. Let's fold them individually. Half again. construct them just by putting them into each other like a um, sort of an onion <laughs> I guess or it's basically just feeding leaflets into each other and so let's see how that looks and as you can see it reads naturally from left to right you know the page and here's the middle like I said it's um, six to seven face each other, and that's because we have 12 pages. Ew. <laughs> Disregard that step. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, that was a near perfect, I promise. But that is basically the process I went through to make the, um, the ash can. Because a whole lot of just a bit of trial and error, but you can always try. Um, I know that that some people like to maybe um, print out their 
comic pages. They could print out their comic pages and just cut them onto this little leaflet, each page. But um, I think it's better if you figured out the um, the layout first, because and I and I prefer it if you didn't like in blue pencil first. Say you want to like draw it like an all all in analog, all in this size, um, each each pages, and like you just put this down, put down each page number reference, and you can just ink it, and only the inks will show up. In theory, that is, it's um, old comic book trick. Trust me, but. Uh, yeah, that's basically how I created created the sash can. It's um, I think it takes practice. I'm I'm pretty much an amateur myself, but I hope this video helped you guys. And um, if you want me to show you more, like how to make the eight-page comic I showed you before, um, I could do that as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you know, give it a like and. Um, once again, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, and have a good day.